Do you want to learn a box plot chart in Power BI using Python? Hi, this is Krupali from Knowhow Academy. So let's start with me. So let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, you are going to learn how to draw a box plot in Power BI using Python. How? Let me explain you with the scenario. Imagine you are a marketing analyst in one smartphone company. That smartphone company is selling two different models of the particular smartphone, model A and model B. Now, as a marketing analyst, you want to understand which age is buying which smartphone and what is the age distribution of the person who is buying particular smartphone model. Also, as a marketing analyst, you also want to find the outliers of that. And as a marketing analyst, third thing, you want to identify what is the target customer or what is the target customer age or potential buyer age of particular smartphone. How will you do that? You can do this analyst using box plot. Now, your box plot will look like this. Now, you may have a question that which data set I have used. So first, let me explain you the data set which I am going to use in this example. So this is the Excel file which contains the sample data set. This is the not actual data set for your explanation. I uh, took only the sample data set so which contains the model, buyer's name, buyer's age, gender, purchase date, price, what is the storage capacity and payment method and what are the different type of accessories they are buying. So we can say as a marketing analyst, I want to know what is the potential age of the buyer who is buying particular model. So you can display this using this chart and this chart is called box plot. Now what is the meaning of box plot? Box plot is helpful you to analyze the distribution of the particular things. Now here you want to understand the distribution of age of particular a smartphone model buyer to understand the box plot you need to understand three things first quartile one quartile two and quartile three now what is the meaning of quartile let me first explain the median value and then i will able to explain you the meaning of quartile now let's say what is the meaning of median if we take an example from our data set uh, that is buyer's age. Now, if I arrange all buyer's age in ascending order and when I arrange ascending order or you can arrange it in a descending order also. And whatever value you get as a middle value or, you, uh, or whatever the potential middle value from your arrangement of ascending and descending order of age, that is called median. Okay, so median is called 15 50 percentile. Now that median is also considered as a quartile 2. Now I hope you understand what is the meaning of quartile 2. Now quartile means when we divide our data set into three parts that is called quartile. Now first part is considered quartile 1, second part is considered it as a quartile 2 and the third part is considered it as a quartile 3. So quartile 2 is also known as a median. Now what is the meaning of quartile 1? First 25th percentage of data that is considered it as a quartile 1. Then uh, first to the 50 percentage that is considered a quartile 2. And first to 75 percentage or you can say 75 percentage is considered if you are quartile 3. So I hope you understand the meaning of quartile and median. Now if you want to draw a box plot chart you need to first identify the quartile value. Now if you are drawing chart in Power BI using Python no need to perform a manual calculation on that. You can do that. But for your understanding, I show you the value of quartile 1, quartile 2 and quartile 3 on a screen. So from this, a quartile 1 value that is 30.50. We can say that uh, 30 is a, our quartile 1 value. Then quartile 2 that is median that is 38 and quartile 3 that is uh, 45 value. 
Now to draw a box plot chart, first you need to understand how to interpret the box plot chart. So whenever you are showing a box plot chart at the middle of screen or you can say the, you are seeing this value in the box or you are seeing this line in the box that is called median value. Now what is the meaning of this and this? So this indicating the minimum value from your age and that is considered it as a maximum value from your data set A. Okay, so from our data set age is uh, for this model B, we can say minimum age is let's say near about to 22 or 23. And for model B, maximum age of a buyer is we can say 55 or nearer to the 55. Okay, and the middle value or you can say median value is whatever we can say 38 we can say. Now, what is the meaning of this highlighted or this color box? This color box is indicating that most of people who is buying model B lie under this and this is the median. So we can say that model B is most popular among this much person and less popular among this much age people. Now if we consider a model A, so we can say that model A median value is that is 40. But this much people or we can say the person between the 29 to 40 is buying more model A compared to model B. So we can say that the age distribution of model A is negatively skewed and we can say that age distribution of model B is considered it as a positively skewed. Why? Because that portion is more compared to this. So I hope you understand how to interpret the box plot chart. Now let me explain you the code. Okay, so let me go to the Python code. So in Python code, I load the data from my Google Drive and I show the data uh, and then I draw a box plot chart like this. Now let me first understand a box plot chart coding. Now when you want to draw a box plot, you need to understand based on which categorical data you want to draw a box plot. So as a marketing analyst, you want to identify that which model that is model A of the smartphone or model B of the smartphone is selling more. So I identify that based on model, I want to draw a box plot. So I you need to identify the model column is required. The second thing you need to understand that you have a model information, but what you want to interpret on that? You need to interpret the age distribution. So from the data set, I took a buyer's age. So in this data frame, it contained the information of model and the particular buyer. So these two information I require. This is model column and buyer's age. Now, the second thing you need to understand that what thing I want to display on X axis and what thing I want to display on Y axis. So on Y axis, I want to display the model information and on X axis, I want to display the information of age. So I took the uh, information that is X label and the Y label I printed. Then. What you need to write to draw a box plot in Python, no need to find a quartile value manually. Python will automatically do that. So to draw a box plot chart, you need to import the library. That library is called Matplotlib. Now my data set contain all the columns. So I took only these two columns in my data frame that is model and buyer's age. Now the next thing is that I need to write a box plot that is one object which contain the box plot value or you can say more or uh, then you need to write the data frame then you need to write a box plot dot box plot is responsible for drawing a box plot 
based on whatever data you are passing so i want to draw a box plot for model so by equal to i write a model here you need to write a column name which contain the model information so my column information my column name is model then you need to write a word i will explain what i will explain pair chart is step by step but let me explain from the big uh, from the easiest value now say here you are seeing this color in a pink so this much box props dictionary then face color equal to pink which color the box into the pink color then i write uh, grid equal to false grid equal to false means what if you write false then back end side grid line will not show but if you write true let me write true and show you and if i execute this here you will able to see the lining like this so it's your choice whatever you want to write the next thing is that patch artist what is the meaning of patch artist patch artist means if you want to fill your box with a color you need to write it true otherwise if you don't want to fill it with color you need to write false now what is the meaning of word equal to false that means if you want to display your box chart vertically you need to write it true and if you don't want to display it vertically you need to write false so i hope you understand the code okay what is the meaning then the next thing is that x label so x label means what you want to display here you want to display x as a buyer's age so here i write a buyer's age so here you want to display buyer's age and here model so this is the label now if you want to give a title you can give a title but if you don't want to give a title you can not give and then last you need to write the pld that is library which you import this library object dot show so it will display the code in that so i hope you understand how to do that the next thing is that i want to draw the same chart in my power bi so how to do that so first of all you need to copy this entire code go to the power bi i have already drawn this chart but let me show you on the next page so first of all you need to take a uh, python visual then you need to drag the column which you are going to use to draw the chart so in this chart we are going to use two column model and buyer's age so here in this you need to write uh, you need to drag the model and then you need to write a buyer's age okay and then what you need to do you need to paste that code you have uh, copied from your google column okay so here my data set or you can say my data frame name is data set so you need to copy and replace it that why because by default it use the data frame name as a data set and then you need to run it when you run it you are not able to see it puff correctly or you are able to see only this line why what is the reason for that because here when you are dragging it it is showing sum of buyers but we don't want to do the sum we uh, you need to select that don't summarize okay and your chart is draw now i don't want to display that uh, grid so let me write it as a false and then draw it so grid will not be there now instead of pink color if you want to display the blue color you need to write sky blue whatever color you want to write so color will change and if you want to increase the font size and anything you can change it okay so let's say if i want to increase the font size so font size equal to let's say if i'm writing 20 not 20 like this without double quotation so your font size will increase oh it's not that let me see what mistake i have done here there is an error let me see what mistake so i think uh, i should write f in a small let me run it again okay so font will increase so you can change the font size and everything like this so i hope you understand how to draw a box plot in power bi using python now you may have a question that can we draw a box plot chart using custom visuals in power bi yes you can draw it but 
for that you need to sign in and you require some company account if you have gmail account and if you want to use it free you cannot do it compulsory you have some account which has a company name domain public domain name account you cannot use it so you need to go to the power bi store and then you can download it so this way also you can draw a box plot chart in power bi using python i hope you get it thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious and keep learning